Hello and welcome to the EIP Next series number 18. Today the topic is gonna be uh, the material transfer with substitute item, the material consumption and work order report for the manufacturing. Okay, so please enjoy our video. P next program. Okay, so the last uh, video clip, what we do is we uh, making the uh, work order. Okay, with the alternate item. Okay, however, for the work order that I I haven't submitted yet, uh, but but we do the alternate item already because uh, if you remember the uh, the 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 bomb of the toy car supposed to be the rechargeable battery, right? But we change it to the AA battery box. Okay, so uh, the topic for today is uh, gonna be like okay, the alternate item and this one have the work order report but we, we uh, at this moment if we try to see the work order uh, the report maybe we will not see uh, that much stuff uh, but we can see the work order that we have done already okay so I gonna show you right here okay in the manufacturing uh, okay so we have the completed work order uh, so this one is the one when we do in, when we, we just do the work order we didn't do the alternate item okay now uh, we can just see the issue item against work order uh, the issue item they're gonna tell you that how many items that you you do already you say so it's come from the store and then you issue it to work in progress uh, however this one is only the item that you issue uh, so the, the product that you finish will, will not count in because that is uh, about the work order okay so let's go to the uh, work order that we uh, have done uh, okay so this is uh, this one is the complete one i go back to the one that we do the alternate item uh, okay so i think i'm gonna just submit uh, okay here we are uh, okay so we have the job card finished already okay so let's uh, see uh, the, the topic uh, so uh, we when we starting we gonna have the material report uh, material, uh, material transfer uh, but uh, the topic that I include today is about the material consumption material consumption is mean the another way for you to track uh, the, the track waiter we have the uh, progress uh, uh, if you remember the last one when we tried to to do the, the work order we, we can use the job card and then assign the people right uh, but if you want to use the material consumption, you need to go to uh, the manufacturing and then in the setting. In the setting, they're gonna have something like the, they, they call the allow uh, multiple, uh, the, the allow multiple material consumption. Okay, so I just save on here. Uh, okay, so when I save on here and then I go back to the work order that I just, just do in here. Uh, okay, it's not started. I have some. I I I gonna start. Uh, and then when I start, I gonna get the material for fifteen unit of the product. Okay, so uh, we have the sitting unit. Uh, the the product that we support to to do. Uh, okay, so we gonna issue. Okay, there's a stock entry because you gonna issue the stock in order to uh see the the. Uh, in order to start the production uh, so they're gonna move from the store to work in progress so I just said this one okay, and then I, I submit so it means I started already okay so once we finish when, when, when we start okay, so we check the uh, work order in progress okay, they're gonna show you this is the work order that you about to about to do okay, okay. so at this moment once we have it already okay, uh, here uh, I go back to the work order, uh, the work order in here. Okay. So it is starting the process already. Okay. So we can uh, we can produce fifteen product, right? And then we gonna see, please see this column. Okay. We can we we call the consumed uh, quantity. Okay. So 
uh, we have the the product that is in the job card นะครับ we can assign the job card and then each job card we can just say that okay this morning we do two product uh, in the afternoon we do three product something like that นะครับ or oh, we can assign the job card that pretend that every job is finished already but we can use the consum uh, consumption of the product you know because uh, when we run the business uh, the manufacturing is based on the uh, the knowledge that if we consume on so it's going to be support to finish the production line นะครับ okay so what I gonna do is I go to the job card in here นะครับ and then we have SMB and packaging line so we we have to assign นะครับ and then pretend that uh, our worker we finish uh, building the the uh, finish the work นะครับ but we gonna use the the uh, material consumption to track นะครับ so we do 15 Okay, so I let I assign the time. Uh, the time should be in the in the April. Uh, okay, I uh, have in the April starting at the nine o'clock. Okay, here we are. Uh, okay, and then on the twelve o'clock. I uh, have on the seventeen. Okay, uh, I hope that uh, I, the the. When I install the ERP, then is the version number 12, right? But in the version number 13, you know, we're going to have uh, something like uh, multiple days. Right? I mean, we, we can do cross the day, right? something like that. So I'm looking for the version number 13. But when I install, uh, it's still the number version 12 point something. Right? Okay. So we put that uh, in this one right? that we're going to complete right? for the Tiffany Long in, in, in the process of the assembly right? okay so uh, the this one right? so we, we pretend that she finished but actually we don't know whether she finished or not we're gonna use the uh, material consumption to work on it right? so in the packaging too right? so we assign the packaging to to uh, oh, this one is uh, finished already maybe I go to the uh, let's say check here Okay, Adam Smith, okay, here on the 16. Mm -hmm. Why this one is set, uh, finished already? So let's like check in here. Okay, I create a filter. Okay, and then see, uh, and then wrap. So maybe the, the uh, I, I just go into here. Uh, okay, the posting button. This become work order should be number two. Uh, okay, so maybe uh, maybe I use the maybe they, they record the one that I, I try to do and then I cancel. Uh -huh. So let's like come back to check uh -huh. that in the work order in here. Uh -huh. So I, I try to create material consumption. Uh -huh. Maybe they, they're not allowed. Okay, so I have to go back to the one uh, in here, the drop. Uh -huh. Okay, in the packaging, I think. If I click in main, they may go to the go to the uh, another one. Uh -huh. So maybe I keep browsing the record. Uh, how come they said no photo record? Okay, so I create a filter. Mm. Okay, this is the job card, and then I come to here. Uh -huh. This one they they said complete already, but. Uh, and it may not still uh, maybe because I come and then delete the, the stuff uh, too many times uh -huh. okay uh, at this moment so what I gonna do is maybe I gonna just uh, in here this job card and then the packaging okay so I come to this one and I I reload okay, and then check uh, okay very good okay, so it's gonna be the one that I have to do okay so I put the the Adam Smith. Ah, okay, here we are, and then put the working right, on the same day, same time. Okay, on the April, uh, and then in the April as well. Uh, okay, so finish the job maybe at twelve o'clock. Here we are. Hmm. Okay, and then start working nine o'clock. And then finished 15. Okay, so I finished already, and then submit. 
Uh, okay, so we the, see the job card, we finished already. Now, so what we're gonna do is we go back to work order and then yes, it's still in process because I told you now nah, we finished the job. Doesn't mean everything is finished. But this time we're gonna try to use the material consumption in order to check whether the product is supported. Nah, for example, this one is the product they support. If we finish everything, we support to uh, finish uh, something like the, the 15 product, right? But I said, let's say I just said material consumption, and then I said I, I did not do 15, I'm gonna do 7 each. You can use the different numbers, so maybe I just use the uh, 8 uh, and then 10, and then in the Lego 884, which kind of product I only say, well, I'm gonna set 5. So it means I can finish only 5 product of the Lego in, in the IR receiver so I click save okay so you see every time you 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 save and they're gonna call material consumption for manufacture so you submit so it means that at this moment the, the work order here you still did not finish 100% right so you go back to see the the uh, work order and then in here that's still called in progress and then they're gonna have the uh, the material consumption already yeah, so you see so this one is the rate of material consumption that that you do right now so you see the infrared is five units so you can keep do material consumption over and over and then the last time when we finish now if we finish it means we finish produce for everything you just said create but when you said finish they're gonna ask you to do stock entry for the last product now so you see some some product that you support to consume uh, 50 right but you consume only five and I have I show you the last one the IR and I have the, the the one so I, I do five before I right? so it's said 10 and I have so when you uh, do this one they have to consume when you finish and then you consume all on the product they're gonna finish and I have so it means that there is no product left and I have, uh, this one is the stock that you manufacture already and I have so we go back to the the uh, work order and then this set a chain to complete right? okay so when the chain to complete like this one uh -huh. okay so what you can do is you go to the uh, stock uh, stock entry a moment ago right? and then after you finish manufacture uh -huh, what happened is that they're gonna do the consumption for the product that is left and then the finished product they're gonna come so in your finished good uh, when you finish good warehouse they're gonna have uh, the stock I have so you can come here and then check the stock balance uh, stock balance okay I have we have the stock balance and then we can go to the warehouse of the finished good finished good is about the production only I have so when you come in and check here the product gonna come and then the balance is gonna be the 15 I have the last one uh, okay, this one is the, the balance and then the for you is come from your uh, bill of material and then the one that you're working. Okay, so this one is the, is the, uh, uh, the material consumption and then material stand for that you're going to see. And then uh, the last topic for today is uh, I'm going to see the bomb, the bomb in the manufacturing and then you said bomb uh, bill of material and then we see the bill of material and then every time they're gonna have the uh, the rate of the material that that is the value of the, the your product that you see in the stock right so you see this one is the value so this value can come from the valuation rate that they, that they evaluate based on the uh, the stock of the product that you do and then the, the cost that you put to the warehouse or you can set the last pressure rate this means sometimes you don't want the average rate right so you just want the last pressure rate for example if the product is you push it from from 10 baht right? and then previously you may push it from 7 baht 8 baht they don't care they just use the last one or you can set up the price right? i mean set up the price for each item directly you don't care whether how much you you buy in the beginning right? so most of the time we use valuation rate okay so i think that's it for the topic for for today right? okay next uh next uh video we're gonna do the subcontract okay thank you and bye bye for this video